today we're gonna learn this emotional finger style arrangement on acoustic guitar using four easy chords and a simple melody. Before we get started guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in the top for this arrangement, you can find it on my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. And because I've just launched my Patreon, if you guys are one of the first 20 patrons to support this channel, you get a special reward. So the four easy chords that we need today are G, played just with one finger and then open strings, then D6 in first inversion, so with an F sharp on the bass, and you only need two fingers to play it, then a classic E minor, and a C major 7. We'll be alternating the chords with this simple melody. The melody follows a sort of call and response pattern, which means that the first and the second times are similar, but not exactly identical. So the first part of the melody will be made by just these few notes, open G, second fret on the G string, open B and open G again. So slowly. And the response to this call sounds like So we do open G, A on the 2nd fret of the G, open B, and then another A on the 2nd fret of the G string, but this time you start from the open G to create a hammer on, like this. So the first time is, second time, we'll be playing these two parts of the melody, alternating them with the chords, so for instance the G will have the first part, the D6 over F sharp the second, E minor the first part, and the C major 7 the second part. Now how do we combine the chords with the melody, so what's the finger style pattern that we play? You can start from something like this, which is the simplest way of playing it. So I'm playing uh, with my thumb uh, the root, which is in this case the G on the 6th string, then I move the thumb to the open D string, so like that. Then with my index I'm playing the first two notes of the melody, open G and A, then with my middle finger I'm playing the B string, okay, and then after that I'm just gonna play with my index the G string again. So very simple, it goes like... same pattern applied to the next chord with a variation in the melody goes with F sharp on the bass with played by the thumb, then open D again played by the thumb, usual hammer on with the index on the G string, like that, then uh, middle finger playing the B string and then uh, the index goes back to the G string to play that last hammer on bringing it back to the A notes on the second fret of the G string. So this second chord goes like... Now we move on to the third chord, which is the E minor, where we play the E string and A string with the thumb. Then we play with the index on the G string, the hammer on between G and A, like this. Then with the middle finger we play the open B string, and then we play an open G with the index again, so... Like that. And then after this we move to C major 7, where we start uh, with the thumb playing the A and the D string, like that. Then hammer on uh, on the G string played by the index, middle finger on the B uh, string and then the index goes back to the G string to play the final hammer on. Okay, so slowly this C major 7 goes like... All together it sounds like... as many times as you like it and you can play it slow or fast that's completely up to you whenever you want to finish it what I suggest is slow down on the last chord hold on on the last note and then play just one strum with your thumb on the G chord I suggest until the G string but it's very much up to you where you want to stop on the right hand now I like to play a melody even in the intro of this arrangement. The melody is made by open A, 2nd fret on the A, open D, 2nd fret on the D, sliding to the 4th fret and then open G. Before
before you start your arpeggios. So. Now, if you want to play it exactly as I was doing in the intro of this video, you should also consider adding one extra note on the bass before the last hammer on of the melody, before the last note of the melody in general. So, if you do so, it sounds like... is that just before the last sound on the melody, for instance on the G string, I'm repeating the bass. So rather than playing, I actually play. And so on. It's up to you to choose which one is your favorite version. Remember that you can find the tab for both versions on my Patreon, link in the description below. That's all for this lesson guys, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more of these arrangements. If it's your first time around, again, don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button. This was The Bearded Guitarist, thanks for watching.